prologue, when is it finally going to be your break time? When I first thought of writing this book, I knew immediately what direction I wanted to go with it. I knew I wanted to advise people, particularly unemployed people and people who were struggling to find their vocation in life, to consider volunteering as a critical strategy for the journey. But when I actually started putting the wheels into motion, I must admit I had doubts as to where I was going. For a short while, I started thinking, wait a minute, isn't volunteering something generous people do graciously with their time? I proceeded to think, well, won't my book encourage people to be just the opposite? Won't my book encourage people to be selfish, to use volunteering merely as a means to an end? I kept on writing, but this thought popped up every now and then and kept nagging me. But as the internal naggings continued, they eventually provoked some thought and insight. I suddenly remember how I started as a volunteer. The more I thought about my earliest days as a volunteer, the more I realized that my motives were not of the most selfless variety either. In fact, volunteering wasn't even my idea. I had never even thought about it. There I was, months and months drowned deeply into unemployment, the gap in time between the present and the time the last bit of my work experience ended was getting bigger and more noticeable with each passing month. Luckily for me, during a casual conversation with a family member about my increasingly desperate unemployment situation, she suggested that I do some volunteer work just to keep that hole in my resume from getting any bigger. She told me I should volunteer. I should do volunteer work just so that I could say in my next job interview that I was at least doing something. Her suggestion sounded good to me because I was really starting to sense employers were not impressed with my I've been job hunting notion. So there I was. I became a volunteer, but to help others selflessly? No, not really. What, would you rather I lie to you? I became a volunteer because I needed something to put on my resume. My resume looked like I hadn't done anything for eight months. I wasn't trying to be good. I was trying to be employed. But the richness of the experience grabbed a hold of me. After a couple of months of steady volunteering, I realized I was... I realized I was helping people and making a difference. Soon I realized that I was enjoying just being part of the experience. Next thing I knew, three or four months into volunteering at the hospital, people started asking me when I was going to apply to work full time. I hadn't, I didn't apply at the time because I had another part time job aside from volunteering. But soon I realized the best part of my week, well, at least as far as work was concerned, was the three or four hours I was volunteering at the hospital. So I celebrated my eight month anniversary with an application, and the rest was history. My point in bringing this up is there is so much that can be gained that people will consider volunteering as part of their job search. Sure, most people probably won't have the right motives going in, if there are any right motives, but sometimes you have to go to a place to find out why you need to be there. I believe volunteering will make many people's job prospecting far easier, and as a bonus, Customer service in our society stands to drastically improve if more people learned it through the volunteering experience. Personally, I can't see how you can turn down what I'm offering you in this book. I'm offering you the chance to participate in what is among the most selfless acts in the world, namely volunteering and doing something selfish with it, namely finding, gaining, and developing context for yourself your benefit, to take something noble and use it for your benefit. Take a few moments to consider what you stand to gain by volunteering, and then stop thinking and start working.